A study of over 7,000 executives found the five non-negotiable skills all successful executives developed as they advanced up their career ladder. In today's video, we're going to talk about those skills and the ways that you can develop them in order to advance your career. on the channel or maybe you don't if you're new we talk about high performance strategies for small business owners that enables them to get more done in less time so that they can bless the community they live in more it means if it has to do with you with your business your performance your employees your achievement your status your success we're going to help you conquer your problems and ultimately grow your bottom line I'm Justin and this episode of the Next Steps Coaching Channel focuses on the five non-negotiable skills you need to have as a leader in your business. Now this study examined 7,000 executives and determined that these five skills are required at the executive level. You'll never reach there if you don't have these. And as the business owner, that makes you the executive. So let's talk about those skills because you, in fact, need them. What they are and how we can grow them. First up is the ability to take initiative. Is that really any surprise? For executives expected to lead the company, they must be willing to take the initiative and find new ways of doing things. One of the things that I always tell my clients is that leaders set the standard. If you want to be a company that innovates, you must first start innovating. If you want more sales from your team, then you had better start selling more. And on down the list we could go. The leaders set the standard for the culture and conduct of a business. They take the initiative. This is amplified even more for you small business owners. If you want to grow that bottom line, it's up to you to start. Whether you have one or a hundred employees, your employees, they will never be more committed or dedicated to the vision of the company than you are. And if they are, then we've got a whole host of other problems that we need to talk about. As the creator of the company, the one with the passion in your heart to see it succeed, take the initiative. Throw out this wild new crazy marketing campaign, even if it's not your strong suit. Venture to try something different. Show your employees that it's okay to fail, to try something new, to learn, to grow, and to start over. Create an atmosphere in your business that is welcoming, inclusive, open, honest, friendly, and striving for constant growth. And always remember that it starts with you. Every morning when you wake up, remind yourself why you're doing this and take the initiative. Recently, I was talking with another coach about an issue that they were having with one of their clients. And after listening to her description of the client, I said, that sounds like a boss that I had once that made me never want to work for somebody else ever again. <laughs> don't be that type of owner, right? Like, don't be the one people talk about in a bad way. If you are and you want to change, we've got a video on that called The Bad Boss Effect. I'll go ahead and link that below. But you don't want to do that. So take the initiative to change, to create the type of culture that you want to work in and invite others into that space. Second is self-development. One of the things that I tell my clients constantly is that there's a lot that I can help you do for your business to, that can enable it and help facilitate it to grow. But the one thing that I can't do is to make you want to change. That's what you have to do yourself. I once fired a client precisely because of that. After weeks of struggling and laboring over the same problem, I, I gave them the ultimatum. Work on it this week or I'm sending you your money back. We've created the plan, but it's up to you to execute. I'll never forget after a few seconds of silence in the phone, I just hear him say, yeah, I'm not going to do it. 
And that was the end of our relationship. I can't make you want to change. I can teach you anything you need to know about business, success, mindset. But I can't give you the ability to change. You have to want that yourself. Instill in you the desire for self-development. Read books. Listen to podcasts. Subscribe to this channel. And others like it. Seriously, subscribe. Like, leave a comment below. Like this video. It really helps the channel out. Attend conferences. Get a mastermind group. Get coaching. Whatever it is, be relentlessly committed to getting better. Your employees will thank you and they will rise to the occasion and the opportunity to do it themselves. The third non-negotiable skill you must have as a business owning executive is high integrity. Remember, if leaders set the standard and you want your employees to be honest and ethical, guess where that starts? Integrity, even in the face of adversity, and failure matters. It determines who we are. It shapes our soul. It determines our eternity. Integrity, this idea of being whole, is the one thing we can't come back from. If we practice dishonesty and spend our days lying, cheating, cooking the books, people will keep their distance. So hold yourself accountable to always tell the truth, no matter how painful, and then to learn from the experience. One of my favorite leaders in history is Abraham Lincoln. We examine him in my leadership masterclass, link below. That, But if you probably heard that he was called Honest Abe, the, the moniker came from his unwavering commitment to be a person of integrity. Uh, as a young store clerk, years before anybody had ever heard of him, he realized that he, if he had shortchanged someone, legend had it that he would walk through the town until he found the person and gave them the last few pennies that he was off. No matter how long it took him to do so, he'd spend his day over a few pennies to make it right. Are you as committed to being honest down to the last pennies as he was? Skill number four is a strong drive for results. Strategies are nice. As an idea person, I love talking ideas. I spit out new ideas every few seconds. I do it so often, my wife has just often asked me to, like, just stop. Quit with the new ideas. Just pick one and go do it. Point taken. Ideas are fun, but ideas are safe. Businesses never grow because of ideas. They grow because of action. A strong commitment to moving from the head to the hands, from the storefront and out into the streets. So what results are you passionately committed to? What results do you strive for? Do you want to double your sales? Are you willing to double your work? You need to increase your contacts? Are you ready to get up early and stay out late to network? You know, whatever it is, whatever it takes, make sure you have this take no prisoners attitude. Don't just create ideas in a notebook silently applauding yourself on the back. I have some great ideas. Take massive dramatic action and drive for results. Our final skill is the ability to develop others. One of the hardest things about uh, that a business owner has to do is onboarding new employees. It's part of why I help provide HR solutions to businesses. It's one less thing for them to do. But outside of that, you as the business owner must be committed to developing others. You need to provide tools and resources and training and opportunities for your team to grow both as individuals and as a team. Intentionally put them into new scenarios to trust them and say, I trust you to find this solution. And then coach them afterwards to get better. As a Main Street executive, as we like to refer to you around here, the development of your team is up to you. So take it seriously. And there you have it. Those are the five non-negotiable skills you need to have. Which one will you commit to this week? Go ahead and leave a comment below letting us know how you plan on getting better. If you haven't already, please like, share, and subscribe to this channel to get more just like it. Turn on those notifications so you know when we go live. Thanks for watching, everyone. I'm Justin. Those are your next steps, and I'll see you on the next video.